thanks for joining me for our happy hips today. We're gonna to get our hips nice and loose and we'll also do some poses that draw some strength and stabilization into our hips. If you have blocks at home, grab your blocks. We can use those. If not, stacks of books or firmer pillows can work as well. I've used, even used um, canned foods before just to put my hands on them. So whatever you have, um, otherwise, fingers by the floor. Let's get started. We're gonna start in a child's pose today. Knees wide, big toes to touch. Start to let the hips sink down. And as we're starting this, maybe if your hips are a little tighter, you can even take a couple of rocks back and forth, just finding a little movement in your hips and then letting them settle towards the heels. Let the hands walk out and the head find the floor or the block. For the first few breaths, let the belly soften, arms soften, and just allowing the body a chance to drop in and get grounded. Start to breathe. And then walking the hands over to the right, letting the torso follow with it. You can stack the palms. And once you get in this posture, imagine drawing that left hip slightly back, feeling the left side body. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out. Move it back through center and then over to the left side. Stacking the palms once again and then begin to draw this right hip back. Feeling this right side body. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale it through center. And then finding our grounding through the hands, press through the inner edge of the palms, the fingertips. Start to spiral inner elbows up. And start your ujjayi breath, inhaling through the nose. Gentle vibration in the back of the throat. Exhale through the nose. As if you're fogging up a mirror, in and out. Hips sinking back. On your exhales, lower belly drawing in and up. Ribs filling up side to side, expanding front to back. Feel this whole expansion of the breath, top to bottom. Next, inhale, press it up, tabletop position. We're going to start with some cat and cow, so on an inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin and the chest. Exhale, round chin to the chest, spine up towards the sky. Inhale, cow pose, fill the hips as the pelvis tips up. Exhale, tailbone tucking towards your heels. So you can stay with this whole movement or you can come back to a neutral spine and just start to take some gentle cats and cows with the lower back lower pelvis. So just some gentle movements in the pelvis region, the hips as they tuck and the hips as they lift. Keeping the breath. Neutral position. We're going to take this right leg out long behind us. And then bringing in some external rotation, turn the toes towards the right. Inhale, toes back to center. Exhale, toes turn towards the right so that whole leg is turning back to center. Keep moving with the breath. Gently inviting in some 
external rotation through the hip. So as we talk about open and closing in the hip, what we're actually talking about is internal and external rotation. So as the toes turn to the right, that external rotation of the hip, and then back to center internal. Last one. Bring the knee down. Try the wrist, three o'clock and nine o'clock, just stretching out the wrist. Start to take the shoulders over the fingertips, rocking side to side. And then back to 12 o'clock, starting with the left leg. Left leg goes out long behind you. Find that scoop of the belly so we're still not dumping in the wrist. Deep breath in. On your exhale, toes turn to the left. Whole leg column rotates externally. Inhale to center. Exhale rotation. Inhale center. So keep this movement. Keep the stability in your right hip. So our movement's coming from our left hip. Right hip is trying to stay stable. And just notice how it feels on this side. Last one. Back to center. Spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Remember this first downward dog, we can start with the knees bent. Hands are pressing the mat away. Spine is nice and long. If you find yourself curling forward, bend your knees, lift the hips. Let the head hang super heavy. And then take the feet a little wider. And we're going to wag the tail side to side, bringing in some movement in the hips. Noticing how this switches up the stretch. Feet back, hip distance apart. Three breaths. Legs active. Next inhale, rise on the tippy toes, look to the top, step it forward. Hip distance apart, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bending the knees deeply. Bring the belly to the thighs. Let the head hang heavy, fingertips to the floor. You can stay here, grab opposite elbows. But getting out of our hamstrings, getting more into our lower back. Keep the knees bent deeply. Walk the hands over towards your right corner of the mat. Inhale, center. Exhale, take it over to the left corner of the mat. Inhale, lift through center. Take a halfway lift to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain. And finding Tadasana here, press evenly through the feet. Start to lift up those kneecaps, firming up the legs. Lifting up the front hip points. And then expand, reach through the ring fingers. Two more breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift, lengthen. Plant the hands, step back, high plank. So today's class is a vinyasa class, but it's not a power class, so we'll move a little slower. Really firm up your legs so that the whole body is supported. Action like the palms and the toes are drawing together to really squeeze in in this midsection. Keeping the neck long. Start to hinge it forward, hug the elbows in, lower all the way to the belly. Tops of the feet root down. Inhale, baby cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower it down. Reach the palms. 
to the mat, fingers towards the toes. On an inhale, lift the chest only. So really notice how the front hip points are pressing down here. Start to float the hands. See if you can lift up those lower ribs off the mat. Maybe start to float the feet, engaging the legs, squeezing muscle to bone. Exhale, lower it down. Bring the hands up to support the head, making a little pillow for the hands. Slide the right knee out towards your right side. So half frog, being gentle and just feeling here. We'll take about three breaths. That right leg at a 90 degree angle. Right leg draws back in. Left leg out to your left side. Knee in line with the hip. Ankle in line with the knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, release it back. Bend both knees, windshield wiper the legs. So really feel the hips rotating as the feet go side to side. Notice that rocking motion. Feet come down, move it to Sphinx pose. So forearms are pressing down, fronts of the hips are pressing down. Action like the forearms are gonna drag back towards your hips. Lift the lower ribs up. So hard as forward, shoulders back. And we're gonna start that same rocking motion. So pressing in your forearms side to side, letting the shoulders move. So there's a lot to the hips. Take one more full breath in. Exhale, release it down. Hands underneath the shoulders, press through hands and knees, downward dog. Right leg lifts, flex the foot, bend the knee. Externally rotate, so open up that hip. So notice that the opening wants to come from the shoulders. Keep the shoulders squared towards the floor, chest pressing towards that left thigh. And then take some circles with the right knee. Feel that movement from the right hip joint. And then reverse your circles. Inhale, lengthen the leg, squaring the hip. Right foot to right thumb, leave that back knee lifted. Press the left heel, your back heel, towards the back of the mat. You may or may not feel a stretch in the front of the left hip. If you have blocks, this is a great place for your blocks. So just bring the floor up to meet your hands. So we're gonna add in a little movement. Start to press the back heel forward, shifting the body, and then reaching it back. So just a tiny movement as you rise up to the toes and then reach the heel towards the back of the mat. you have tight hip flexors, you may feel that in your hip flexor or somewhere else. Back knee drops down. On the inhale, squeeze inner thighs as you rise up. Lengthen up through the arms. So action like this front heel is drawing towards your back knee and your back knee is drawing towards your front heel. So really squeeze in. Right hand is gonna come to the right knee Press it down, press down through that back shin. Left arm is gonna to start to reach towards the right corner. Keep the action in the legs, keep pressing through the back shin. Feel that elongation on the left side of the body. Release it. Hands to your blocks or the floor, pull the hips back, pop up the toes. Take a deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, chest draws forward. Toes keep pulling back towards you. 
saying hello to your hamstring. Notice that this right hip is creeping forward. You can even take the thumb, draw it slightly back. Bringing in some motion, toes can turn to the right. Inhale to center, nice and slowly here. Externally rotate. Inhale to center. Last time. We're gonna plant this right foot down. My blocks or my hands are gonna come to the inside of the right foot. And we're gonna kickstand this back leg. So my left leg is turned towards the right long side of the mat. We're just gonna to start to lean forward and then pull the hips back off of the toes. So leaning it forward and then pulling it back, bringing in a little movement in these hips. And let this be fluid. Finding what feels good with your hips here. Think of it as a place to explore. If something feels good, maybe you hover it. Next time this right foot plants, bring the hands back towards the front, square off that back hip. Tuck the toes, lengthen through the chest, Plant the palms, step it straight back, downward dog. So we're gonna add in the first option for vinyasa. On an inhale, lift the tailbone up, find that length. Exhale, rolling it forward to high plank. Take a deep breath in, look forward. Elbows hug in, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, draw the chest forward. Exhale, downward dog. And just notice right here, we did a lot on one side. See how it feels, no judgment, just awareness, observing. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip. Squaring shoulders, chest pressing towards the thigh. And then start to take that movement in the hip joint. Circles on the left side. And then after about three, switching it out, opposite side. Square the hip points towards the floor. Pinky toe towards the floor. Left foot to left thumb. Fat knee stays lifted. So again, your blocks or fingertips. Press the back knee up towards the sky. Keep that action in the back leg. Press the right heel towards the back of the room, the back of your mat. And then starting some rocking, reaching through the back toes, and then pressing the back heel towards the back of the mat. Very subtle movement. Supporting the body by drawing the core into the back of the shirt. Okay, drop the right knee down. Squeeze those inner thighs like you're closing a pair of scissors. Rise up. Feel that expansion. Ribs lift up away from the hips. Same time, grounding through the feet, grounding through the back shin. Left hand's going to come down to the left knee. Press down into that knee. Press down to your back shin. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Take it towards the left corner of the room. So big opening on the right side of the hip, so as all this right side body. We don't need to go further over, press more through the foot, through the back shin, reach to that right arm. One more deep breath in, exhale, bring it down. And grab your blocks or fingertips to the floor. Pull the hips back, lift up the toes. Deep breath in, long through the spine. Exhale, chin draws forward. Right hip point reaches forward. Toes drawing back. 
And then we can bring in some of the rotation, turning the toes to the left and then back to center. Moving it with the breath, nice and slowly. Just exploring how this feels in your body. Next time the toes come back towards center, plant the left foot down. We're gonna kickstand this right foot towards the left corner, hands to the inside of the foot. And then starting leaning forward that left knee and then leaning the hips back. So rocking side to side, front to back. Find a place that feels good, maybe find a little hover. Then left foot's gonna plant, hands are gonna split that left foot. Turn the right toes back, hips square to the front, tuck the back toes, lift it. Plant the hands, step straight back, downward dog first. Tailbone up, spine long, take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift it forward, high plank. Inhale, lengthen heel to head. Exhale, option to take a chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg lifts behind you. Right foot to right thumb. Stay low. So press the feet for warrior one. That back heel spins down. Tighten up the back leg. Right hip is drawing back. Start to lift the fingertips up. Maybe float the hand. Now squeeze in here. Right hip keeps drawing back. Back leg nice and firm. Finding some stability. Pressing through the outer edge of that back foot. Next inhale, rise up. Warrior one. And go ahead for today. Let's bring your hands down to Dasana. Palms open, shoulders back, feel the grounding of the feet, at the same time softening the shoulders, expansion through the upper body. One more deep breath in, exhale, hands come to the mat, hop that back foot up for pyramid. So toes facing the front, feet, um, two tray jumps. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow all the chest forward. Again, that right thumb can come to the hip crease, give it a gentle guiding back. If you have a block, place it underneath your left shoulder, maybe even on the top highest height, take a halfway lift, right hand comes to the hip, rotate the chest open. Draw that right hip back and re-lengthen through the crown of the head. One more deep breath in, exhale, hands to the floor, step it to the top. Take a halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big toes turn in towards one another. Utkatasana to your pose. Draw the shin bones back. Maybe even lift up the toes. And then bringing the hands to heart center. Press through the palms and see if you can set your tushy back a little bit more, keeping the chest lifted. Okay, start to press. This time we're going to press the knees out. So start to press the knees out as if you're pressing them into the hands. One more deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. 
Plant the hands, step back. Option to take your chaturanga, or to hold in downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts, left foot to left thumb, back heel spins down and stay low. You can move up to fingertips to find your blocks. Left hip is going to guide back, press in the outer edge of that back foot. Maybe start to lift the fingertips off. Okay, take a peek at your front toes. Notice if they're clenching. Press through the ball on the heel of the foot evenly. Let the toes relax. Next, inhale, rise up. Start to try to turn the right hip slightly forward and then bring the palms down for Tadasana. Inhale, lift up through the chest, draw the shoulders back. And then find that grounding through the legs. See so if you can sink that front knee over the ankle, find stability. Action like you're going to crinkle the mat in the middle. So keep active through the legs. Shoulders soften, jaws relaxed. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands meet the mat. Hop that back foot up, toes towards the top. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. Chest drawing forward. Pyramid pose, getting ready to revolve it. Right hand underneath your right shoulder. Halfway lift and lengthen. So hip points are square to the front. Left hand on the left hip. Rotate it open. And squeeze inner thighs towards one another. Keep rotating that chest up. Notice where you feel this in your legs. Notice the sensations. Exhale, release it down. Step it to the top. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise mountain. Exhale, chair pose. Sink it back. And then hands together at heart center. Rooting down through the left foot. We're going to lift our right knee up. Cross the right ankle over. Now you can move to a wall here for stability. You can start to hinge the chest forward. Keep pressing that right knee down. Keep long through the spine. If you have your blocks, maybe you can bring your fingertips to the blocks. Move where you need to move so that you feel this. Left hip drawing back, right toes flexed. Slowly we're going to rise back up and release it. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, mountain. Last chair pose. Hands at heart center. Find the stability in the right leg. Slowly lift the left knee up. Cross the ankle over. And again, you can take the wall, countertop. Practicing the balance. Right hip is drawing back. Maybe taking the blocks. As you take this down, keep the hips drawing back. Breathe. Slow and controlled. Tighten up the belly. To inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the chair pose. Inhale, rise. You can take the gaze up. Maybe look up across the sky. Open it back. Inhale to center. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. You can plant your hands, take your vinyasa. Bring your 
remember vinyasas can look all different ways. Simply means to flow, dropping resistance, letting the body move. Right leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip. And this time take some circles with the ankle. Reverse the circles. Right leg extends, right foot between the thumbs, back heel spins parallel with the short edge of the mat. And then stay low here. Action like you're squeezing the mat up in the center, so engage the legs as you slowly rise up, warrior two. Tailbone long. Press this front knee towards the pinky toe. At the same time, hug the hip in. Relax, shoulders. Flip the front palm. Reverse, take it up. And then notice this right side body get long. Arms out to a T. Hinge it forward, forearm to the thigh. Left hand up, we hug that right hip in, top arm reaches up and over. So as we look at stability, all these poses we're really hugging in. Imagine the, the top of the femur, the top of the thigh bone, hugging into the socket, creating stability. If you wanna add in a little bit, that right hand can start to reach up, feel the motion in the hips. Rise up, warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, helicopter the hands to the inside of the right foot. Shimmy the right foot to the edge of the mat. Ball to the back foot. Before we drop down into lizard, take this right knee into your right shoulder. Squeeze it in, creating that stability in the inner thigh. Really hug in. And release it. Back knee can drop down. You can stay high. You can find your blocks and your forearms. Or your forearms to the floor. And then let the hands relax. The jaw soften. Option to turn the right toes slightly at an angle, allowing the knee to follow. And then start scanning the body. Noticing if we're allowing the hips to soften and relax, or if there's this push-pull fight. See if you can come in where you can find some ease in this posture. So if your body is fighting you here, back off a little bit. Maybe lift up the torso. Don't go so deep. Allow yourself to move into a place that you can stay. Three more breaths. Gently lift up. We're gonna move this into half pigeon. So I'm gonna draw the right knee to the right wrist and shimmy that left foot over. If this does not work for your body, you can move yourself onto your back for figure four stretch. I'll demo that in just a second. So if we're prepping here for half pigeon, start to press down through your back foot, through the front shin, and find a little bit of a lift off. I want you to squeeze in, lift the hips up for three, two, one, release it down. Head can come to blocks to the floor. Remember you can always support this hip with a block. That does not work for your body. Find your way onto your back. Cross the right ankle over the left knee and thread the needle. So option, same stretch. This just takes the gra gravity out of it. Checking in, shoulders relaxed. Face soft.
If you're on your back, go ahead and release. Draw your knees into your chest. Roll around. If you're in half pigeon, go ahead and step it straight back. Downward dog. We'll all be in downward dog. Once you're in downward dog, option to hold here. Take a cat and cow or take your vinyasa. Moving breath to breath. Whatever serves your body at this moment. Each time we step on our mat, it's a different experience for our body. And allowing our yoga practice to serve our body, serve our heart and our mind, dropping any expectation. Left leg lifts, left foot between the thumbs, back heel spins parallel with short end to the mat. And it may be a little bit of a reach to get the fingertips down. It's where your blocks can be handy. Start to hug in and nice and slowly grounding through the feet, rise up warrior two. Action like the heels are going to squeeze the mat together. Lift the front palm, reverse, take it up and back. Arms up to a T, hinge it forward, side angle. So keep that left hip bone hugging in. Front knee pressing towards the pinky toe. Top arm reaches forward and then rotate the chest open. Feel your foundation. Feel the stability in the hips. Maybe lift that bottom arm. Warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, helicopter the hands to the inside of the left foot, spinning to the ball of the back foot. So we're shimming the left foot to the edge of the mat. And then start to hug left knee into the left shoulder. Engaging the inner thigh. And release it, release the back knee down. You can find your blocks, you can find your forearms. Bring it into your lizard. Dropping any expectations for this side. Maybe turning the left toes slightly at an angle. Come back to that feeling of the breath in the body. Breath filling up the ribs side to side, front to back, top to bottom. Slowly start to press back up. Move the block out of the way. Moving into half pigeon. Left knee to left wrist. And then pressing down through that front shin, top of the back foot. We're going to take that squeeze in motion. So start to press everything down at the same time. Squeeze in all those hip muscles to lift up. And then slowly releasing it, moving, making it down to pigeon pose. You can always use the block for your left hip or find your way onto your back, moving into figure four stretch. Tuck those back toes under, step it straight back, downward dog. And then when you get this downward dog, wiggle the hips. Option to take a vinyasa. Maybe your vinyasa is around the cats and cows today. We'll all meet downward dog. In your downward 
downward dog, rise on the tippy toes. Exhale, look forward, step it to the top. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Split the feet the width of the mat, toes pointing towards the top. We're moving this into Malasana to start to sit the hips back, chest is staying long, hands can stay at heart center, come to the thighs. It's very natural for your toes to want to turn slightly out, that's okay. You can stay here, you can find your blocks to make yourself a seat. Or tailbone long towards the floor. Palms at heart center, heart lifting up. And just breathe, feel the rooting through the feet. At the same time, imagine rising up through the crown of the head. If you want to add in a little movement, you can press, let the chest go side to side. Right hand can come to the floor. Pressing the right tricep into the right knee. Left hand reaches up and open. Inhale through center. Left hand to the floor. Right hand reaches up and open. And release it. Walk the fingertips forward. Let the head hang low. Maybe lift the toes. Imagine that tailbone reaching towards the floor, filling the space in the back. And then release it. Take a halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, bow. Halfway lift, lengthen. Plant the hands, chaturanga or downward dog. Inhale, upward dog, press to the tops of the feet. Exhale, downward dog. Start to press the thighs back at the same time lifting the tailbone up. Heels do not have to touch the floor, but start to reach them down to get a big stretch. We're going to step the left foot between the left thumbs and then pivot the toes towards the right side, moving this into a wide leg forward fold. Hands underneath the shoulders, take a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, bow in, tailbone lifts up. And just relax the head, relax the neck. If you have an arm balance here, freedom to take that. And always reach for your ankles. But check in, make sure the thighs are engaged. Hands underneath the shoulders. Start to bend into the right knee, lunging towards the back of the mat. And help your center, lunging towards the front mat. And help your center. Exhale towards the back. If you'd like to move it into full skandasana, you can take that. Or you can keep the spine long, tailbone towards the back. Inhale, center. Lunging in the front knee. If you move it into Skandasana, really press through the back heel, lift up through the chest. Inhale it through center. And then turn the toes and the knees out. We're going to prepare for goddess squat. So grounding through the legs, bring the hands to the inner thighs, and then lift up to the front of the belly, lifts up, tailbone long. We're going to keep the hands, the inner thighs today, and take the twist 
A deep breath in to lengthen. Exhale, left shoulder's gonna go down, twisting towards that right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder down towards the left knee. And start to move back and forth. Feeling the hips, finding some mobility in the shoulders. Breathing. Keeping the knees pressing back. Last time. And then rise up, star pose. Just take a couple of circles with the hips. Both directions. Turning the toes towards the top, step it forward. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Take your block underneath your nose. Bend the right knee. Halfway lift and lengthen. Left hand reaches up. Left hip is drawing back. Crown is reaching forward. Release, switch sides. Left hand to the block, left knee bends, halfway lift. Right hand up and over. And release it down, move the block out of the way. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, heart center. Moving this into tree pose. Start to root down through the left foot. And we're gonna lift the right knee up. We're gonna take a couple of circles with the right knee. Bringing in that motion, that movement in the hip joint, and then reversing the circles. When you're ready, tree pose, right foot draws in. And now press strong through the foot, leg presses back. When you're ready, grow your branches. Even breath in, even breaths out. Hands at heart center and release the foot. Take some circles with the left ankle. And then finding Tadasana, pressing evenly through the feet. Remembering tailbone long, lower belly lifts up. Left knee is gonna lift. And then taking those circles, bringing in movement in the joint, and then reversing the circles. Left foot comes to tree pose. You can always kickstand, cat or thigh, but hug in. Outer hips squeezing in. And when you're ready, grow your branches. Hands at heart center. And release the foot. Take some circles with the right ankle. And reverse. At the top of the mat, inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, all four dog. Exhale, downward dog. Okay, drop to hands and knees, and we're gonna take frog pose. So you can come to the side of your mat or to the forward. And just start to let the knees walk out. And we wanna keep the hips and the knees in one line, the knees and the ankles in one line, toes turning to the side. And this is where your block can also be handy or a pillow from your couch. Start to let the torso come down. 
arms can support the head. They can reach out. So block can go at your chest, go at your head. Not overthinking here. Just getting in a place you can stay. A place you can surrender. If this is intense, breathe. Again, checking in with the body. Noticing that super strong sensation. Then what else can you notice? What's going on in the shoulders? Between the eyebrows. Are the jaws relaxed? Face soft. Three breaths together, deep breath in. Open that side. Inhale. Exhale, let go. start to lift it up. If you have a block, you can move it out of the way. Just slide to your belly. Draw the knees back in line with the hips. And just let the feet go side to side. Allowing the hips to rock. Maybe arms up to a T. Slowly pressing up to a seated position. We're going to take a straddle stretch. We're taking the legs wide, toes turned up. Take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen, and slightly tip the hips forward. Moving with your breath with each inhale, lengthen. Each exhale, softening and finding your just right spot in the pose. Option to walk it over towards the right thigh. Imagine the nose reaching towards your big toe. And stay right here. We'll take that left arm up and over, getting in a side body stretch. Keep reaching the left sits bones towards the floor. Inhale through center, taking it over to the left. Reaching the nose towards your left toe. Option to add the right arm in. Maybe gazing towards the sky. Right sits bones presses down. Inhale, one more time back through center. Three full breaths wherever you are. And slowly lift up. I'm gonna take full pigeon pose. So left shin draws in, parallel with the front of your mat. Right shin can stack in front of the left shin or can stack on top. And also take the block under any of your knees. 
Take a deep breath in, lengthen, and then exhale, draw the chest forward. Just relaxed. Five full breaths. And release it nice and slowly. Switching out the legs. Right shin stacks in bottom. Left shin can come in front or on top. Make sure both sits bones are reaching down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, draw it forward. And again, in those breaths. How the breath feels in the body. Not trying to change any sensations, just observing. Deep breath in, full exhale, slowly lift up, unwind the legs, bringing the feet to the floor, find your way onto your back, bringing a block with you. Again, a pillow will work here. We're going to place this block between our inner thighs and set it for bridge pose. So feet are hip distance apart. I like it on this side, but whatever works best for your hips. Pull the lower back towards the floor with the lift tip of the pelvis. Keep that engagement of the belly and lift the hips. And now start to squeeze that block. At the same time, reach the tailbone towards your knees. So extending through the spine, long spine. Really hug in. Lift up through the chest. And then slowly exhale, release it down. Remove your block. Let the knees go side to side. We're going to take one more bridge pose. One final stability movement for the hips. So bring your hands flat to the mat. You can even take your hands and grab the edge of the mat for a little more stability. Press the lower back down, engage the belly, and then lift up through the hips. Press evenly through the heels and the balls of the feet. Start to root through the left foot. Draw the right knee in towards your chest. So stay strong and stable through that left hip, trying to keep the hips squared and not rocking. You can stay here, or you can extend the right leg up towards the sky. Right knee draws in, slow and control, bring that right foot down. Again, we're trying to keep the front of the hips squared. Slowly lift the left knee in. Hold, toes are flexed. Option to stay. Or extend it up towards the sky. Lifting up through the hips, squaring the hips. Left knee draws in. Extend it down. And release. Let the legs go side to side, arms to a T. And draw the knees into your chest. Massaging the spine, rolling side to side. Happy baby. Bring in some movement, maybe rock side to side. 
We'll bend one knee while the other leg, opposite leg extends. Sometimes when we get on our mat, we immediately work out that tightness and everything thing feels right with the world. Other times, it takes a few times on our mat. Just allow whatever it is to be today. Take the legs straight up to the sky for waterfall and let the legs soften here. So knees can be bent, we're trying to stack the feet in line with the hips. Letting the toes soften and relax. Maybe take some point and flex of the feet or some circles with the ankles. Head is heavy. Shoulders are relaxed. With the legs still up, go ahead and reach arms over the head. And then arms out to a T. Bring the right knee in, left leg extends, supine twist. Take it to the left side. Gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale through center, switching out the knees, draw the left knee in, right leg extends, twist towards your right side. Inhale, center, draw both knees into your chest. We're going to take one more twist before we end. So bring the feet to the floor. Cross the right knee over the left knee. And then lift the knees up over the hips. Take both the legs over towards your left side. You can stay with the arms out to a T or that right arm can reach up towards the right corner of the room. to a T, draw the knees into your chest and grab at the knees or you can reach for the outer edges of the ankles, pressing the shins up towards the sky. Slowly unwind, knees into your chest, feet to the floor, left knee crosses over the right knee. Lift the knees up over the hips, take them to the right side. Left arm at a T, or left arm towards the left corner of the room. And really feel that left side body. Arm to a T, bring the knees back to center. Grab at the knees, hugging them in, the ankles, or the outer edges of the feet, lifting up the shins. Unwind the legs, draw the knees into your chest, take a big hug. Mm, giving yourself a squeeze, a thank you. And then Shavasana. Take the legs wide. Arms out. Completely releasing Ujjayi breath. For these next few moments, release any to-do list, any expectations, Simply rest.
that you would stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. When you're ready to come out, slowly bring in some gentle movements. Slowly making your way to a comfortable seated position. Palms together at heart center. Deep breath in. Completely let it go. Now love for yourself. And exhale love to others. Thumb tips to the center of the forehead. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste. Thank you, friends.